Let's go ahead and walk through an example of how to add a new component in the version dog. Let's pretend that we're adding a new PLC to the area one of our plant. We go into our area one folder, right click, select new component, and then we'll have our new component dialog box pop up. In this example, we're going to be adding an RS Logix 500 PLC. So we'll go down to our Rockwell folder, select our RS Logix 500 component. And maybe in this example, we call it something like an extruder 1850. Now we have some additional master data here, and you can customize these fields. So instead of putting something like customer or project, you could label these as serial number or asset ID and put that information here to make it easier when doing searches on your master data. Once we have the information entered, we hit create component, and then we'll have our component container created here in the tree. Now we need to simply go out and grab the project and drag and drop it into the container. We open our file manager, and in this example, I've got it located on my data folder, in my RS Logix 500 folder, and here's my RSS file. Now this could be multiple files, and we could always do a control A or do a control. Once we have our file selected, we drag and drop it into that container. Now we're not creating a link to this file. We're actually taking that project and placing it into the version doc system. You will now see that inside this component sits our project. We now need to create base version one. Click this button here. Now our local version will be version one and our server version is also version one. Now any of our colleagues can come in and check this component out and start working on it to create their new version.